I'm sorry, Issy Elba. This is terrible. I did I forgot what you just told me. Oh my god. What'd you, you just tell me? Quick, huh? What'd you just tell me? Is the lighting <laughs> right? Because if the lighting's not right, we need to start this over again. <laughs> Look at our view. We should be in good lighting when we have these impromptu uh videos. And yes. <laughs> Yes, the lighting is right. <laughs> okay, great. And now on to what we were going to talk about. <laughs> I was saying um, public relations or having that kind of plan is um, almost like cybersecurity. Um, cybersecurity, you value it once you have had an attack happen or a breach happen. And for the same thing for PR, until like some kind of um, emergency happens, you don't value it until you need someone to like create the or change the narrative that's already been put out for you instead of um, proactively putting out your story continuously before people have the chance to create this idea of you. That's not true. So in the blockchain space, because this is how this conversation came up, yeah. what, do you, what would you tell folks who are engaged in ICOs or cryptocurrencies? Um, there's already this negative connotation <laughs> um, attached with cryptocurrency for the general public. I'm talking about the 1% of people who actually believe in blockchain. So I think it's important to be able to tell the story about what your product is able to do and deliver um, once you decide that you actually want to deliver a product to people in the first place. Just because when they hear cryptocurrency, it's like, oh my gosh, you're bringing up this fake thing that we don't want to hear about anymore. People talk about it too much. Um, but talk to them in a way that they're understanding that you're delivering something that's going to positively impact their life. Brilliant. Um, so suppose uh, suppose someone says, hey, you stole $60 million in your ICO. What, what am I supposed to do now? You need to find a PR person to help you change your narrative. I can't just call you? You can call me, yes. <laughs> I love yeah, it. How, I, I, I love it. How it's young. It's like, yeah, you should go. You should go find a uh, a PR pr professional. Oh yeah, I could do that for you, but nah, I'm busy. I gotta get my nails done. Her nails are always on fleek. Show everybody your white nails. I'm not. Sure. <laughs> anyway, so we were having a. Uh, it's young. was schooling me on uh, the virtues of public relations for initial coin offerings as part of building your brand. Because you don't have to worry about, you don't need a crisis communications person if you've already walked through this walk uh, through the brand building process. So you're getting ahead of the uh, negative comments. And then we talked about cybersecurity because we talked about wallet safety. But you have to retain it. See, I'm going to get the full force of that. And uh, if you'd like to retain Maureen Marat, uh, Dr. Maureen Marat Esquire, make sure the lighting is right. <laughs> Otherwise, well, I don't have to be right for that. Otherwise, <laughs> it's not going to work out. So.